So I'm with my son yesterday, and I want to get him lunch. He loves him some Chick-fil-A. The one thing about Chick-fil-A, yes, delicious chicken, but crazy long lines. We had a doctor's appointment for him that we had to get to. So I'm right there at the location on Palm Beach Lakes. And if you know one thing about pulling into this drive through once you get in, you're in. There's no getting out. You can't pull off to the right or the left. You get in and you're stuck in there. So we're pulling in and I didn't bring my wallet. My son's got a little Venmo card, but I didn't realize that my wife had turned it off. And so I go up there and my son wants like 30 nuggets, a sandwich, a milkshake. He's got this massive order. The guy swipes the card and he's like, sorry, dude, it's not working. And there is no way I can get away from this. It's just nothing but inching my way all the way up through. And people looking at you like, what are you doing? And they're just awkwardly waving to the drive through window as you just drive on by. It is just nothing but 20 minutes of shame. It's awful. It happened to me. It happened to me in front of Virginia at the same event two years in a row <laughs> and it was at that pga what, yeah what's it was that? at the honda classic we we're in the bear trap now i know i have i had money in my account yeah. so i'm like all right well it's you, you're kind of if you're in there you've paid good money for your ticket so it's like okay i'm, I'm flossing a bit i'm kind of a high roller and I'm, I'm big stuff that i'm even in this venue so i mean i was very confident of going all right i everything's cool so I was talking to like four or five girls. Yeah. Virginia's right there. I'm I'm drinking. I'm feeling great. Oh, you're enjoying I, yourself. It's a beautiful do that, day. Do that big move. Yeah. Drinks are on the bird. Yeah. And they all order their drinks. I yeah. give them my card and it declined. And then I start getting defensive because I know I have money. <laughs> but I have money. And Virginia's oh, laughing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And it was <laughs> so, yeah. I was so embarrassing. <laughs> the cackle queen just <laughs> leading the league in cackles. Uh, but like a dummy, I decide to repeat this move the year after. The exact same thing? The same thing happened to me. <laughs> Something with their electronics in my debit card it does not like jive. Oh, no yeah. way. It's terrible. But when you make a big proclamation, yeah. drinks are on oh, me. Yeah. And then Look you at get me, to ladies. Collide. Yeah, it's for ladies. Man, talk about feeling small. Well, the drinks are already ordered at that point. You know, somebody else is going to step up and oh. just the shame. And, and then you've got a drink, and now you it looks like you did a trick to get a free drink yourself. And, you know, if this happens in front of Denny's, De- yeah. Denny's is going to try to, you know, Bail me out of this situation yeah. in front of this group of ladies. Not Virginia. Virginia. Put a spotlight, gets a yeah. microphone. Hey, everybody. Gets a marching band behind her. Look the guy who tried to buy the drinks. His oh. car doctor got declined. Oh, my gosh, Kev. <laughs> <laughs> so I just wanted to find out, where is the most shameful place where you can have your credit card declined? Uh, Megan on the KVJ Show Facebook page, she said, at Subway. Because after it gets declined, they actually start dismantling your sub right in front of you. <laughs> so they build it right in front of you and they start taking off. <laughs> that is very oh sad. Oh, my God. That's so sad. <laughs> They're just dismantling your sub. The dismantling of a sub is a very sad thing. Susan said, yeah, when you got that uh, whole grocery cart full of stuff at the store and it gets declined and you just, like, slink off and now they got to put it all back. That's pretty rough. Yeah. Elizabeth said a high-end restaurant. That's really uncomfortable because what are you going to do at that point if you don't have another way to pay and your card is not working? Oh, man, that's tough. Is that a real thing like in the movies? If you don't have enough to pay, do they make you do the dishes? Or is that? I've never heard of that. I can't imagine that happening, but I I don't know what they would do. It it would be kind of interesting. Yeah, how do they get security that they're going to get their money? Do police get called? Because I can't imagine they'd be like, ah, don't worry about it. And you've got a $200 tab. In today's day and age with technology and everyone kind of really not being able to hide, yeah. you could be able to say, all right, I'll Venmo it to you when I... If the if the business is cool, I'm sure you could work out a deal. Yeah, I would I would love to figure out how to do that. Somebody texted in and said, uh, Chick-fil-A takes Apple Pay. Yeah, I've never used it. And so I went to the Apple Pay on my phone because I got desperate. And I looked and I had a balance of zero dollars. Oh, gosh. I had no money on it. So that, that was the first thing I texted my da- daughter. I'm like, you got to get me set up with this Apple Pay. See, it'd be so doubly humiliating for me because I go, well, let me check Apple Pay. And I would not know how to do Apple Pay. Then I'd I ask them if they I, could help well, me. I did the thing. I'm like, hold on, let me check Apple Pay. And then it, the guy's looking and it says zero. <laughs> yeah, I'd ask for 
for help <laughs> for them to go, hey, can you help me with my Apple Pay? It, it Dog, actually, you ain't got no money. It, it, that Apple Pay actually added more embarrassment to the whole situation. Totally. It looked like I'm completely broke. Uh, Marco said, yeah, what's even worse is going to a restaurant with a group of coworkers and your car gets declined. Yeah, I think anytime you are the one paying or it's in front of people and there's an yep. audience, that's the worst. Adam said, I was at a uh, fuel dock with the boss's boat and the boss's credit card and 20 grand in fuel when it got denied. Mm. Yeah, yeah. What do you do? imagine that twenty thousand dollars you just run up and the credit card doesn't work? Uh, you got to put it on your card. Like, how, how does that even happen? My card, in these instances, my card would even know what to. My card would laugh and then scream. It wouldn't even be able to do that. Mm-hmm. Cheryl said a strip club. Been there. It's pretty embarrassing when your car gets declined. Mm. And you got angry strippers. You got to deal with now. That would that that to me would that that's a dangerous situation. Yeah. Oh yeah. Mad strippers, and then you got the bouncers. And then you got a roided bouncer that comes up. Strip club bouncers don't play, and they the don't. lower the club, yeah. the more obnoxious and awful the bouncer is. Oh, it's gonna be terrible. Yeah, the more pain they're gonna inflict on you. Suzelle said, "I was once in Atlanta visiting some friends, and we did that friendly little battle. Like, oh, I'm gonna pay for groceries. No, I'm gonna pay for groceries. Well, I wound up winning the battle. Then I go to pay with my card. It gets declined. <laughs> I was so humiliated. I had to turn around and let them pay." It's it's rough. And then William said a charity event. Getting your card declined after you've made a big gesture. Well, the thing that's tough is imagine if you won an auction and then you go up to pay. So you've denied other people from buying the item and then you go up to pay for it and then it's declined. And now you've just, in a sense, you've just stolen from a charity. There, there are so many awkward things that go on with a charity auction. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, that I, can go. I, I know it's great. You're raising money for a great cause, but there are some uncomfortable moments that can happen with that. Absolutely. So great uh, responses. Thanks for hitting up the KVJ Show Facebook page.